Windows 7 Remote Desktop Connection Safe Credentials Not Working How do I allow credentials to be saved when connecting to another machine with remote desktop connection? Background I try to connect to a server, and the remote desktop client does not have any saved credentials. In order to try to save the credentials I check the option allow me to save credentials. I then initiate the connection, enter my password, and notice that the remember my credentials option is checked. Once connected to the server, I ensure that the local group policy options. Local computer policy computer configuration administrative templates windows components remote desktop services remote desktop connection client. Prompt for credentials on the client computer. Do not allow passwords to be saved which default to allowing passwords to be saved, and default to not prompting for credentials, are forced to allow passwords to be saved, and forced to not prompt for passwords. And I run, cupdate slash force, to ensure the force off security settings are in use. Repeat the above steps 4 or 5 times on the sixth time creating screenshots for a Stack Overflow question. Notice that Remote Desktop Connection Client refuses to save my password, noting. You will be asked for your credentials when you connect. So the question is, how to save credentials when connecting to a machine? Additional things try. as was suggested in the closed Stack Overflow question, the Microsoft Forum post. I tried enabling the allow delegating saved credentials with NTLM only server authentication for terms or slash in .msc, on the client, for example Windows 7 machine. People suggest this without realizing that it only applies to NTLM authentication. NTLM is an outdated, insecure, and should not be used. NTLM is an outdated authentication protocol with flaws that potentially compromise the security of applications in the operating system. Although Kerberos has been available for many years many applications are still written to use NTLM only. This needlessly reduces the security of applications. Either way, it didn't work. Bonus information. Try both modern, Ian at avatopia.com, and legacy, avatopia.com backslash Ian, username formats. Tried setting the group policy on the domain controller. Windows 7 64-bit professional client. Windows Server 2008 R2 server. Windows Server 2008 Server Windows Server 2012 Server Windows Server 2003 R2 Server Everything from background on is just filler to make it look like I attempted some research effort. You can ignore it, including this line which talks about ignoring this line. Appendix A. The client is Windows 7, connecting to Windows Server 2008 R2, over RDP 7.1, with the server using an auto-generated certificate.
The client has authenticated the identity of the server. It also happens when connecting to Windows Server 2008 and Windows Server 2012, all from Windows 7 client. All machines are joined to the same domain. Appendix B The resultant set of policy, sop.msc, on the client is always prompt for password on connect set to disabled. Appendix C Results of connecting to every server I can find. I was wrong when I said it fails on any connection to server 2003. The problem is limited to server 2008, 2008 R2, and 2012. Indicates it will use saved credentials, but must re-enter password at 2000 login screen. Bonus reading. KB281262, How to Turn on Remote Desktop Automatic Logon in Windows XP. Super user, remote desktop connection is ignoring saved credentials. Windows 7 forums, Windows 7. Remote Desktop Connection Automatic Logon, Allow or Prevent Microsoft.com, Saving and Changing Logon Credentials in Remote Desktop Connection Microsoft.com, Saving Your Logon Credentials in Remote Desktop Connection MST and Remote Desktop Services Blog, Saves Credentials Do Not Work Stack Overflow, Windows 7 Remote Desktop Connection Save Credentials Not Working, Closed Microsoft Forums, Remote Desktop Connection Not Using Saved Credentials I found the solution. It was at the same time both subtle, and obvious. As mentioned in the question, when I was modifying the following Remote Desktop Connection Client Group Policy Settings. Prompt for Credentials on the Client Computer do not allow passwords to be saved. I was checking them on the server. I thought it would be the server that dictates what the client is allowed to do. Turns out that is completely wrong. It was at P's answer, while incorrect, which led me to the solution. I shouldn't be looking at the RDP client policy on the RDP server, I need to look at the RDP client policy on my RDP client machine. On my client Windows 7 machine, the policy was. Do not allow passwords to be saved, enabled. Prompt for credentials on the client computer, enabled. I do not know when these options were enabled, I did not enable them in recent memory. The confusing part is that even though do not allow passwords to be saved is enabled, the RDP client would still save password, but only for servers below Windows Server 2008. The truth table of functioning. So there is the trick. The group policy settings under computer configuration backslash policies backslash administrative templates backslash windows components backslash terminal services backslash remote desktop connection client on the client machine need to be configured with do not allow passwords to be saved, not configured, critical prompt for credentials on the client computer, not configured. The other source of confusion is that while a domain-enabled policy cannot override a local disabled 
a domain disabled policy can be overridden by a local enabled policy, which again leads to a truth table. Since the direct answer to the question is already there, I'll suggest an alternative approach. Remote Desktop Connection Manager, Berkman, is a tool written by Julian Berger and used internally in Microsoft. It's very lightweight and free and in my opinion it greatly improves productivity, especially when you maintain many connections. And yes, it stores passwords too, an XML configuration file. Advantages You can organize connections and hierarchies, which inherit properties, for example credentials, color settings, resolution. All configuration, including hashed passwords, is stored in one file, easy to move between computers. Lightweight, free, reliable. Disadvantages Some people don't like the navigation menu on the left when not in full screen mode. Personally, I got used to it quickly. It seems not to handle non-standard P settings well. For example, when I use the 125% zoom in Windows display settings and I find an RDP connections is a bit blurry. For that reason, on some machines I use Microsoft Remote Desktop instead. It handles this situation better. Screenshot from the article. How sysadmins are DP efficiently using Remote Desktop Connection Manager. The most detailed answer is already there, made by Asker. I only want to note that this problem may also happen when client computer OS is a home SKU. Thus no local GP editor may be available, neither a domain policy is in effect. Nevertheless, the client may act as if the policy to always ask password is set, don't know what causes such a default, maybe some program installed? Then, it is useful to set the policy registry setting manually, MSRDP client checks it, you may find it using a tool like Procman. It is here. In my case, the issue was that the .rdp file downloaded from Microsoft Azure had the following line. Normally checking safe credentials would change that line, but for some reason it also comes marked as read only. Unmarking it as read only and changing the line too. In Notepad fix the issue. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.